Hello Pisces, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. We're getting ready to do your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Pisces. We're going to look at the recent mutual energy between you and your person of interest. Let's see. The Nine of Cups, wonderful Pisces at your energy. It really speaks volumes to the fact that both of you may have Pisces in your chart. It's eat, drink, be merry. It's all about laughing and love and enjoying the moment, enjoying life to the fullest. Eight of Wands, <laughs> take care and be sure that you put a, a fire extinguisher next to the bed. The, Ace of, uh, the Eight of Wands is all about, it can be air travel, but it's moving fast really fast energy, super fast, hyper fast. Um, it represents air travel, it represents passion, it represents communication. It's two people who are on fire and really in this energy of having a great time together. How your person views the situation, interesting energy here. Your person Pisces views a situation between the two of you as Four of Swords energy. There's been some friction. There's been an undertone of some, maybe almost a lack of support. It's all about having fun and being sexy and laughing, but your person is not feeling as though you're necessarily in it to win it. Your person feels some feeling that maybe you're here for fun and not for a serious relationship. That's how they view you, Pisces. That's how your person views you. The way they feel is they're definitely moving towards investing in the relationship. They're doing it very slowly. This is Virgo energy. You can see that he's walking his horse. So your person is not in a big rush. They're taking their time. Your person really wants to make sure that if they invest in this relationship that it's solid. Here we have Aquarius energy, Pisces, your person's very, the way they see the situation is they're kind of aloof. You know, they're not, they're not being very emotional. Now, when I look at this energy, what I see is someone who, this is Aquarius energy, and it shows that the person that you're dealing with, Pisces, views your situation as not necessarily stable, but not necessarily unstable. They're viewing this from a very a higher perspective. They're intellectualizing how they feel about the relationship. We're going to get another card on that. Tell us why this is here. Ten of Swords. Ooh. Pisces, your person feels as though you may walk away. Your person feels, you know, the way they view the situation is it may not, again, may not last forever. They have something to say to you, though. They have a lot to say to you. We have Gemini energy coming in here. So we're looking at two Gemini cards, an Aquarius card, very air sign energy. There's something about the way you view things. There's something about your life philosophies that seems to be very different. What is the mutual energy that's hidden between you and your person, Pisces? Well, you're both very honest with each other. You know, there's no hidden conflict. It's very much out there. Whatever's going on in the relationship is very evident to both of you. The Ace of Swords, though, is clarity. The Ace of Swords is a very positive energy. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You're very honest with each other. You're very straightforward. Spirit is saying, take a risk. Be passionate. Don't get caught in your head in this relationship. Pisces, it looks like your person gets caught in their head. It doesn't really look so much like you're doing it. But again, it's mutual energy, I feel, very much. The Fool card is a new beginning. So in this relationship, the two of you are going to have a new beginning. The Eight of Cups popped out. You may have, you may separate for a while before there's a new beginning. The Eight of Cups is a card that says that you may have a new beginning because you're not feeling satisfied. We're gonna clarify this. This is a very complex reading. 
very a lot of layers here. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why were you so happy in the recent past? Why was this joyful? Eat, drink, be merry. Let's live life large. Okay, Four of Cups. Well, both of you, it looks as though you were celebrating after a long period. I, I would say that's almost like COVID related. Like, oh, we were so bored and then now we had fun. So I really feel that. Seven of Coins says that you're both invested. Things are not going, though, as you planned. So all this air sign energy, it's interesting. You probably should watch Aquarius's reading because it does look like there's some common denominators here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Sun card, you love each other. You, you, you are one another's happy place. The Seven of Cups is reversed, so it does look like you're not keeping your options open. It looks as though you're trying to make your way through a relationship that's having a hard time. It looks as though you're both very earnest, you're both very desirous of wanting a happy life, possibly together, and yet it's almost like you're working with a Rubik's Cube. You can't quite figure out how to make it work. At least your partner is wondering that. The Five of Swords. This does indicate very likely at least a separation. You could get back together. It does look like, yeah, it's really interesting. So why is the Five of Swords here? Why does your person see you, Pisces, as somebody who's crying foul? The Justice card. They feel as though you, your person views you as a person who's balanced, somebody who's fair, but they think that you take too much to heart, almost like you take things more seriously or more, like you get offended more easily than they do. It looks as though Pisces, your person does think that, you know, there's some drama here. You know, in their heart space, it's almost like they they just want to move forward. I feel as though you're not feeling heard, Pisces. I feel as though your person's like, really? Oh my gosh, can't we just do what we have to do? There's a real disagreement here that's going on beneath the surface. Or not so much beneath the surface. It's really pretty obvious. It does look like your person in their heart space wants the relationship. But it does look like they just feel like nagged or like, like you're too sensitive. Eight of Wands, why is the, if, when they look at the relationship, your person really sees you as a person with whom they can really move forward in life with. The passion is good, the sex is good, the communication is good. But they feel as though for all the passion that's here, Pisces, your person feels as though there might be an ending. They feel as though there may not be a way to move forward for the two of you. I do feel there's love here. The Nine of Cups, one more cup, and it's happily ever after. Two of the happiest cards in the deck are here. Great sex, great connection. What is going on here, Pisces? Because, yeah, Five of Swords. I, I just think that you're in a real power struggle. I feel like your relationship is almost on overload. Almost like you've tried to be too much to each other. I feel as though there's like a fatigue feeling here. Like you've gone round and round about some things and you can't come up with a conclusion. You do want to stay together. Your mutual energy though is quite honestly that you want the relationship. But you are in a really thorny spot here. There's something about the communication that's really, there's something about the dynamic in the communication that seems like both of you are struggling. The Ace of Wands, Spirit is advising you to throw caution to the winds. Get out of your head. Stop being so cold, aloof, and analytical is what the card Spirit is telling you to do. Operate from your instincts. Operate from your passion. Stop intellectualizing everything. Move out of the energy of the Eight of Cups. You know, it does say that maybe you should take a break from each other. 
you know, we see that the clarification for the Eight of Cups is a Ten of Wands. I will say this, if you break up, I don't think you'll get back together, okay? I don't think you will. You will have a new beginning. This is going to go one of two ways. Some of you are just going to leave each other. You're going to break up. That's what it looks like because it's like this irritation is so strong. And yet the magic is there. That's a card of chemistry. That's magical. You have the sun. You have the nine of cups. I mean, the eight of wands. The, the fool card says that you better be careful about making a foolish choice. Parting ways may be a very foolish choice, okay, Pisces? We're going to look at the Oracle cards, but you're trying to manifest happiness. It's almost like you're having an argument about how to be happy. It's not that you aren't happy or can't be because you've been really happy in this partnership a great deal more than any other. So let's look and see what Wisdom of the Oracle is telling us here. We do have Mercury retrograde. That could be part of it with the Magician card here. Okay, here we go. Milk and Honey. Spirit is saying that this relationship is quite lovely, exchanging your gifts. Spirit is very supportive of this relationship. Mending. So part of the message here is that you may have come into one another's lives to help mend each other, you know, that you've been really good together, that it's been a real gift knowing each other. But according to this, Spirit's still supporting this relationship. Let's look and see what the messages of Love Oracle have for you, Pisces. What is it that Pisces needs to know about this, their partner's aloofness? Boundaries, firm boundaries are needed. All right, one of you is running over the other. That's what we see. We're seeing that one person sort of wants to be very bossy. I can't really tell who it is. I think mo both of you may feel that way. Fate. Ah, this is a destined partnership, so, you know. But it does look like for many of you, you've been together for a while. Passion, try something you've never done before. Interesting, because when the two of you get out of your head, you get off the couch, and you're out living life, you have a great time. When you're making love, you have a good time. You know, when you're outside, you're having a good time. It looks as though there's a power struggle going on. And it looks like an intellectual one, somebody almost trying to sort of be the police. Put the computer away. Working less helps strengthen your relationship. So it does look like somebody's working a lot and it's causing a problem for the relationship. Let's look and see what the energy is Pisces for. Part of the Fairy Oracle, and maybe we'll look at the Sacred Destiny cards. What is going on? What is going on? Let's look at you, Pisces, and then the person that you love. Let's see. Prick up your ears. Listen very carefully, Pisces. There, there's information you need to have. The shadow of the past. Oof. Okay, something that happened to you in the past is, is sort of waving its hands. A sorcerer, you can manifest what you want with this relationship. You've been through this before. That's what I think. You've been through this cycle before. Okay, so now let's look and see what the energy of your person is. What is the energy of your person? Hmm. Interesting energy. You, you know that they have a lot to say, but you also feel as though they have a lot to sort out. You feel as though they're big and they're bold and, you know, they have a tendency to be front and center in front of everybody else. They have a big personality is what I'm seeing. And it doesn't look like that's always easy for your Pisces. The queen of the day, though, you know they're a good person. The queen of the day is very, you know, is a really beautiful spirit who really wants things to go well. It's somebody who's grounded. It's very much that you know, sort of Capricorn Queen energy. Okay, let's see. 
and the dreaming your person is following their dreams. So I really see this as a stressed out relationship. I don't see either of you coming from a bad place. You're just you're just in disagreement about it's almost like you're nitpicking. You're, it looks painful though, and yet you both know that this is at its heart a very good relationship. So let's see what the Sacred Destiny card says. Flow. Just let the energy flow. Put all your thoughts aside. Just, you know, let it go. Go with the flow. Don't get, don't take too much to heart over this right now. Both of you are trying to find courage to face challenges in life. I think that you're very, very stressed out at this time from trying to make progress in life and you're both struggling to do so going forward. It does show that the two of you, if you stay together, you can work this out. But you will have to make the decision that you're not going to let ego-driven intellectual energy come between the two of you. Overthinking is a bad idea at this time. And it looks like, Pisces, you're more intuitive about this. It looks like your person is really on edge. I feel as though they had a dream that didn't manifest and they're really having a really strong sense of insecurity at this time. So that's the, that's the energy I have for you. This is a beautiful relationship. Gives a lot of happiness. So I think till next week, sending you love from Chicago. Take care since I'm back.